All right, welcome back, everyone. You can see we've got some fun friends here, and Patty Spittler is here, brought to you by Pet Pals TV. And today, Patty, we're going to talk about taking care of your best friends during this unprecedented time. A lot of people really worried, wanting to know, can you still go right. to your veterinarian or animal hospital? Yes, that's that's. We have several things to talk about. That's one of them. By the way, high five. Hi, yeah. Stewie's high fiving. High five. <laughs> Give me some. You can touch Stewie, nice. but you can't touch me. How about that? Um, it knows is doing it. Of course, our friend, our, our helping here, mm -hmm. but also around the country, a lot of vets call to make sure that they do this, kind of like a drive up. You drive okay. up like you're ordering food or nice. something. Only in this case, you're passing your pet out to a vet tech or someone who come out to get the pet, take them inside, you tell them what needs to be done, okay. and then that way you can stay in your car while they get a shot or some medicine or something. Now obviously, if it's an emergency, you mm -hmm. know, it's case by case basis. Right. But in, in most cases, they can come out and take the pet in so they're up to date on their vaccines right. and their medications and all that, or maybe just a checkup. Call to make sure, and then, in this case, cute little Pomeranian, and uh, whoops, there he is, <laughs> uh, and they'll take care of it for you. So again, uh, this is at NOAA's, but call your vet if you have someone else, and it's pretty much standard around the country now. That's awesome. So you should definitely call your vet to see then if they offer this. Make sure. And the t of course the time. They're mm -hmm. not open all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, and this changes on a hour by hour, day by day basis. So right. just make sure it's going on. Something else I read the other day. I don't know. But there's so much information out there. Some of it's false. Let me reach behind me. Hand sanitizer. Okay. And I saw this. Um, there's something in sanitizer. The hand sanitizer called isopropyl. Okay. And they said, oh, if you put it on your hands and pet your dog and your dog licks it or your cat, they're going to die. Okay. You'd need to squirt a whole bunch of it down to have a, an ill effect at okay. least. They're going to so, have to drink it. To yeah, be. Just, just be, again, be safe, be sane. Right. Yes, use it on your hands. Uh, it, try to give it some time to dry, you know, mm -hmm. before you pet your dog. But it should, you should, <laughs> look at Mabel there, before you pet Mabel. Living the best life. But you'd have to give it, again, it's the alcohol in it. Alcohol is not right. good for pets. So. Yeah, so there don't you. douse your pet in hand sanitizer, yes. maybe. But again, and common sense things. Stay safe, stay sane. Now realize there's things you can do. You can take your pet for a walk. Yes. You can go outside and sit with him. Mm -hmm. You can sit on the couch. Right, like, and just like pet them, obviously doing. enjoying this. Do you have a dog? I don't. I've actually never had a pet. <gasps> what? Yeah, never had a pet. That's always my fun fact. <gasps> I'm. My husband and I are going to get one. We're building a fence, yes. and that's our first. He's yeah. had pets. I've never had a pet. <gasps> well, clearly, <laughs> I think yeah. you need one. Yeah, I think so. That, I always, that I brings up another them. good point. A lot of the shelters now are fostering out. They're, uh -huh. they're, they're closing down. And again, it's not the pets that are giving us right. the virus. It's they don't want people to congregate, especially right. those of us who might be older, who maybe are more susceptible or at risk. Mm -hmm. So, so make sure they did. By the way, go to our website, uh, Tom Doc, who's our investigative Pet Pals TV reporter, uh -huh. uh, about the coronavirus with pets. There was a second dog in Hong Kong that has tested positive. Okay. The first one was a Pomeranian and died at about 17 years old. Oh, wow. They did nasal swabs. Uh -huh. The second one is a German Shepherd, but the whole family, all the people there have yeah. the coronavirus. So, but for the most part, it looks like your pets are not a good host. Right, for the coronavirus. For, the, for this, now if it mutates again, then who, who knows? knows? But this particular strain is not a good, suitable host. For okay. your dog. So pet yeah. your dog. Exactly. And I know a lot of the pets, oh, see you later. Hey, hey. <laughs> I know a lot of the pets are enjoying having their owners and things home during this time. So it's important, you know, if you've been a pet owner for a long time, this is going to see Randy. If you've been a pet owner for a long time, you know, just do the common sense things. Right. If you're concerned about something, call your vet, call a professional. Um, and just make sure you're doing what you can. I know, and if, I'd always say if you love the love of a pet, you're never alone, you're never lonely. There I'm you go. single, I live alone with my pets. I don't know what I'd do without them. Exactly, so. they seem like good entertainers. <laughs> Randy's really enjoying himself over and, there. And Mabel doesn't know any, any social uh, distance. So. Well, neither does Randy, so that works out. <laughs> All right, you guys, Randy uh, Thank you. is actually going to have a look at some of our weather, I guess Mabel's going to help them out. So yeah, thank you, Patty, for being so. with us. I asked Mabel if she knew anything about weather. She goes, nope. <laughs> said, you're overqualified, way overqualified, Mabel, I think. <laughs>
Ah, Patty says, is it going to rain cats and dogs soon? No, maybe tomorrow, though, we will see. Hey, Mabel, check it out. It's a roller coaster ride. Yeah, we're going way up to the 60s here by, say, uh, Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Will it rain? Stay tuned. I have the answers to my forecast. Bye, Mabel. Bye. Let me put you next.